here's the thing with Creeper World, if you throw down your ship, or your main base, whatever, and then you throw down 85 different things around for it to build, they'll all get built one at a time, or at the same time, so one, 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 and you'll, you'll be stuck. Things will go poorly because you'll be sitting here forever as the goop just uh, comes to murder you. Use Omnis to defeat the emitter. Oh, okay, yeah, because those can't go over land. I got gotcha. you. Uh, anyway, you, you want to only build like one or two things at most, so I really only want to build these two. It's going to be a power boost and then constant power. Let's go ahead and unpause. Okay, so it, it the gun will only work on one at a time in this one, which is actually better. <laughs> actually better. I, I should have paid attention to that. I, w I was thinking of the particles that shoot out of this, because the particles work very similar to other Creeper World games. Uh, I do want to go ahead and get a lathe up as fast as possible. We have 750 energy. That's a lot of energy, I think. I think? Is that the cap? Is that how much we have? I have no idea. But I would like to build a lathe, and I'd like to build a destroyer. I'd like the... Okay, so maybe... Maybe the ship can't build a destroyer. Maybe only these can build destroyers? Or other ships in general? Uh, but here comes some hell. Oh yeah, this guy has guns. I keep forgetting he has guns. Very helpful. You're gonna come over here and fix this. Oh, they're sneaking in from down there too. I wanna get that other lathe online then. Destroyer's online, so he'll start... He'll start protecting. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down an Omni over here. It really doesn't matter, I don't think. There's seen ship design, and it currently, or it isn't currently available in the G Corp inventories. I've integrated the license, and it's been activated successfully. Can you see that? It, er, there is both a particle beam and a missile launcher, plus two engines. Talk about rapid response. Enthusiasm is admirable. Particle beam should slow down the particulate. This in itself would be useful, but I can also modulate it to repair decayed blue plasma. Remove red plasma. Assist us with particulate devastation. Everyone get ready to watch missiles chase down this particulate. Or the particulate, the blah, 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 blah. Words. The word salad. The Joven. Is there out of Joven here? See, yeah, that's... You can see how bad it gets very quickly over there. But no, yeah, you should beat this in another minute. The high scores told me so. I assume you could probably make your own ships and, uh, like, make some broken stuff. I know in the other Creeper World games, the the secret technique is, um, since everything was ground-based, it didn't fly. Except there was flying stuff, but we just ignore that part. But since everything was ground-based in Creeper World 1, say... What you do is you be very sneaky. You come over here, build 300 turrets, fill them full of ammo, make them fly over the creeper right next to where the creeper spawns, and then just shoot the creeper. <laughs> just because the uh, if a turret is sh uh, sitting in creeper, it takes damage over time, but it will shoot the creeper. So if you were to build 100 turrets and then just fly them over there, they'll fly over all the goop, land next to the emitter that's making all the goop, and then it'll use all the ammo to clearing all the goop out. And depending on uh, how many turrets you sent over, you could actually hold off long enough to just blow the thing up. <laughs> you didn't even have to build out your base, you just built 100 turrets. It just took a while. Though, uh, you could speed run that if you uh, did it properly. Uh, we need to come conquer this Man, this guy has so many things. He's got beams and missiles. Does he have infinite missiles? He's going for it. Thankfully, we have this little barrier here to slow him down because there's a lot of them. Got to move this guy down here to help, and you're just gonna, you're gonna sit up here and look pretty, I guess. You can see our uh, our energy's plummeting because we're trying to kill this. There's only uh, like 300 of them on the map right now. Um, can we sneak in? We're gonna... Oh, wait, yeah, we can sneak in, like, uh... Oh, yeah, we can sneak in, like, there. Missiles are having a little hard time finding them. On oh, this thing also builds it, too. That's why we're burning through stuff so fast. 
Uh, I can't put a, uh, an Omni down here. Uh, I could, but I need to save the Omnis for this thing. And there he goes. Have you come down? I want you to build both of these. Yeah, you should probably build that first. Probably a good idea. Um, unfortunately, I can't zoom out when I'm doing that. That is just going to continue to get me more energy. This guy, she should fly up and, like, try and hold some ground, maybe. Ah, let me just put that there. Another Omni. And we're just going to have you move up to here. Like, why not? Um, yeah, you can't put it in the goop. That's the issue. Can't fly him over the goop either. So I don't know if... Will this take care of that for me? Will this do what I want it to do? You can come fix that. You guys a little closer. Uh, I'm going to need to have you come and clear the goop out, though. You do clear goop, right? Yeah, there he goes. It, it took him a little bit. He needed power. He had he wasn't near a power source or anything. Uh, yeah, I built this. Oh, it's got to fight back the goop. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll move this guy up here to try and take that out. Okay, I want like 40 of these things. <laughs> that seems pretty good. I wonder what that is. It's got to be something that's going to help me here, because I'm having trouble getting past this. I mean, I guess I could build another Omni. Double strength Omnis? Maybe. Info cache. Uh, uncrypted, but only partially preserved. Very old and uses a version of data compression that is, well, ancient. What's the data? Is telemetry, a mess, but this was an entry personal log. Chairman Ragnall's personal log particle emitters have been growing stronger in each system. Unless fate is mocking us, the particulates must be communicating across systems. If so, then our theories about the particulate must be correct. If these theories are correct, then uh, the Galactic Corporation House Abraxas. That's a name that pops up. That That's actually... Is that the guy in the third one? Here, like... <laughs> there, there's so much time in between these games that when someone says an ancient transmission, there's like five different ancients you could be talking about. There's like the original ancients, and then the Creeper World 1 ancients, then the two ancients, and the three ancients, and the four ancients. Each with like millennia in between. So it's hard to tell like when it's an old recording, like I'm pretty sure Braxis was the guy in the third one, and that's the most recent in terms of time, so... This is ancient, and everything else is even more ancient. Or, it is it does say House of Braxis, so this could just be a house named after him, but... The, the storyline's weird in this game. We'll just have to, like, look at the other ones at some point. Uh, house of Braxis fell decades ago, and there hasn't been a ruling board in nearly as long. That's not ancient data. It's decades. Ancient is thousands of years. Whatever secret Ragnall was referring to seems to have remained a secret. So I wonder if Ragnall's theory about the particular er, matches ours. That they are uh, communicating with each other? Because that's usually how that works. Weird space bugs or something. They're making the goo, but they're not making goo anytime soon. Kind of push up with everything here. We, I gotta fit him through this, which is uh, the, the issue here. I can have him route around. Unfortunately, we're uh, confined by the magical bounds of this world. See, this guy just has. I just had to wait for him to clear the stuff. Uh, oh, I can move them. Okay, so this is how it works in Creeper World One and Three, where uh, if you want to move the turrets, you just click here, and it'll just pick up and fly. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have him fly over here and hopefully push out the goop. I am really excited for the, the fourth one, fifth one, technically. I think it's called Creeper World 4, but it may technically be the fifth one if this counts as number four. Uh, well, 
there's only 300 of it, but man, is it looking bad. Need some long range missiles. This guy's got. He's got. It's some amount of missiles, right? Yeah, yeah, I definitely want you to shoot ones. No, shoot shoot the plusters. Cluster. In Creeper World 1, I'm just going to keep bringing up Creeper World 1 and 3 while we're. <laughs> while these things are happening. Um. In the other ones, uh, you had turrets. Baseline is that you had turrets and you had mortars. Turrets would go for the closest. Mortars would go for the most. Which is kind of what I was hoping with these missiles here. But maybe these missiles just can't reach. Uh, missiles are blue-ish. It's hard to tell which which circles which. Defense lasers red. So maybe maybe he is just going for the most. If I, if I sneak him here, is he going to shoot a missile directly into that? No, he's shooting down there. I want to shoot a cluster missile. That's that's the dream, right? I need the the lathe to like. You yeah, see, he's out of bullets. <laughs> he has no bullets. I need someone to to pass the goop. And they're still just having the the time of their lives trying to get through that down there. I might move him over here, maybe. See, I don't, I don't... I guess we gotta take that down. Still technically connected, I guess. We just gotta... We just gotta get them connected. If this won't connect them... Oh, no! He did not manage to succeed. Means you need to come over here and build that. Or... I uh, gotta... Cancel that one. Build one. No, cancel it. Destroy that. Build one right there while you're right next to. See now this one's building. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what counts as building or not. Yeah, I know I need to use the the omnis down here to kill this thing, but I just can't get to it. Got to push in. It's just it's difficult. Um, we need you to move up to here, right about there is where you need to be. And that should destroy that, and then we'll be able to move in on this. Hopefully, they're down to two hundred, but they are still making them pretty fast. So we're gonna have to hope those missiles hold them off. They're making progress here. Emitter destroyed. There we go. Is it because they ran out of power? That one's out of power. Maybe. Maybe that's maybe that's why it died. It ran out of power. But now we just have to move these guys up. Better destroyed. That's what you want to hear. He's gonna move over there. He doesn't have any power, and then he won't have any power. I'll be fine. How about, did we see how much it makes? We don't. On this one, it just it just shoots at that direction. Other creeper world games, you usually get to see uh, how much. Do you know how much ammo this guy's got? I guess he's got full. The, the, this guy is empty. He needs to go back for more ammo. My Omni get destroyed again. It did. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I don't really need it anyway. You gotta build the. Uh, you gotta build the energy pod. I need the energy. Corporate HQ still has energy. There we go. Well, now we've got the energy. So you can come back and you can start doing the damage and then uh, we, we more or less have this at this point throw that on four times easy peasy lemon squeezy it was a little little weird there more convinced now than ever any readings that might lead us to the origin world uh, none I hope that there would be some reminisce some molecular signatures anything that would hint to an origin world if you don't find the origin world then all this could be for nothing 
Remain hopeful, my friend. Be able to... It's a lot of privately in this. I don't know if you noticed. Lots, lots of privates. Uh, let's see. We'll push forward. Onward to victory. 52 seconds. <laughs> How? How are you doing at 52 seconds? 6,000 goop. Flying goop. I see. <laughs> a wall of the stuff. Yeah, when, when you can actually control it, uh, you can do a little more interesting things. Uh, Career World 1, it literally just poured like liquid. That's all it was. In Career World 3, there were actual things that would uh, like constrain it and make walls out of Creeper. It was very interesting. Uh, destroy all enemy structures, traveling messages from the past. Emerge and rally the associates of the Tycon Corporations. Corporation. Also, I would very highly recommend Creeper World 3. It's got a... Uh, uh, custom level creator and it's got like a million levels and you can just play that game forever and if flash wasn't being decommissioned you could technically play uh creeper world one and like its expansion on uh the internet for free and there's a uh there's a daily level creator like uh, you put in a date it gives you a new level every day so you could technically play that forever creeper world one's a little limited in the uh the weapons, you didn't have very many of them. It's very basic. But if you want to check it out, it's, it's on the internet still. Until Flash goes down. And maybe in uh, that, what, it's like Blue Max Maxima's Flashpoint. Uh, the thing that, where they're trying to preserve all the Flash games in a download. Go check it out there, maybe. Let's see, status report. Scan system done, that's uh, thoughtful. What is your assessment? Emitters show different energy readings. There is more of a pattern or rhythm to their energy output compared to the emitters. So that's going to be them jiggling about. Yep, there's the jiggles. The invisible jiggles. Uh, let's see, meaning. It means they're going to jiggle. <laughs> I was thinking, like, uh, with more ordered energy output would come into or come more complex behavior. Energy patterns indicate more intense uh, pulsations. Miniatures should be producing particulate with a greater intensity. We should be mindful of this possibility. Particulate with greater intensity would be more difficult for our weapons to destroy. Additionally, the particulate might have the capacity to create red plasma in space as they travel. I experimented with this in my simulations, but was never able to get it to work. Are you, you just bad? It, it's, it's just a computer program. How, how would you not get that to work? Like, it may be unrealistic, but you could you could make it work. You just make goop. I just code the game. How hard can it be? Ogun, do your best to compensate for these threats. We need to collect any remnant technology and info caches. Caches. Present in the system. We must engage the particulate regardless of its intensity. I was hoping you would say that. All right, so what we got here? Uh, lots of little portal things. This is definitely where we start. How about we start about right here? Start uh, right here, and then we'll build uh, a lathe, like, down here. There's an extra Omni down there, so we can just keep building them. Let's see, we have one, two... Oh, there's one up there, too. So we got five in total. We know they're going to be dancing around here. This is going to be the hard part. That's another data cache. They're going to be dancing here for a while, too. Uh, other than that, they're going to be random, I think. Okay, throw the bad boy in there. Builder up. Okay, and then you need to come down here and start building this stuff as well. And we'll build the lake. This makes for a much faster paced game than uh, Creeper World 1, 3, or 2. In the, those ones, you couldn't just move your stuff. Well, you could, but you need that infrastructure to get anything done. That is gonna take a while uh, let's get the destroyer up if I can he's gonna swap between the two but the lathe is done already a cruiser glass Calcon ship license D dual missile launches dual cans particle beam and laser fence I recommend immediate construction okay two that has created hostile energy mines can't be good construction of energy mines seem to be closer to mirror the same Galgon energy mines we build 
integrated cannon, how could the particulate have struck them without a lathe? Uh, the particle, or however the particulate, particulate, yeah, that's actually how that word. Uh, I can still destroy it. I'll move lathe ships in close range and destroy any mines. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> look how fast. Where, what are the mines? Are these the mines? That's a lot of mines. There's no way that's the mines. Oh, no, these gotta be the mines. That's gotta be it. Surely. Surely the ones with the weird stuff around has got to be the mines. Unexpected, what is your assessment? As we possess a rudimentary pattern replication capacity, energy mines are relatively primitive technology. Sure. Sure, Thoth. Uh, perhaps after exposure to many instances of energy mines, they have replicated them. The logical conclusion, the question is why? And not in the previous system. Well, maybe this one... This one, uh, this one actually saw more mines than the other ones. I don't know. Gonna have to get over it. Uh, let's go ahead and build an Omni down here just for extra points, I guess. Will it? I don't think I'll like that. I would like to put an Omni down there, too, to be honest. You just don't see that happening. It's, it's too far away. Okay, you're gonna move up to here. You're gonna move up to here. You're moving down to here to power that stuff up. And let's... We don't even have a Joven yet, actually. Build a Joven. All this extra stuff, we might as well just build it as fast as possible. Oh no, they're building guns themselves. Don't, don't, stop shooting my ship. Stop it. Bad. Is this destroying this ship too? It is. Move out of the way. Run away. Run away. He's shooting me. Destroy this thing. If you have the, the opportunity, please. They're not. They don't have the opportunity. And my ship is he's taking damage. Am I going to have to lay this thing too? How many lathes must happen? You will lathe him. And he will die. Yeah, you have to lathe them. Uh, okay. Energy. energy enemy energy mine. Oh, that's an energy mine? Uh, ha, 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 ha. I was, I thought it was a landmine. I thought they were talking about landmines. I was like, ah, yeah, landmines. It's got to be these spiky boys because they explode. No, it's just, it, it's literally a mine. Like, it's mining the energy. That's what it is. I am the big dumb. The utmost of the dumbitudes. Uh, let's see. We probably want to put one down there. And then put... I I'm talking about Omnis. Probably put an Omni there. I don't know how many Omnis we want. We get another Omni down there anyway. I need to come late this thing. Ah, oh, there you go. It, well, I'm a little hurt. That's fine. How's it going up here? Lathe was actually pretty hurt. Pretty hurt. Uh, we're going to destroy that. We're going to actually move it down here. Like, closer so it actually gets built, maybe. Um, Yeah, you guys are going to come up here. We're, gonna, we're splitting our forces now. We're getting things done. Do they, these don't have guns on them. Why do thirds have guns? Why can't I have guns? I wish I had guns. Um, technically, I guess I just want it to be built down here, because it should build this, I think. Uh, and you have to come down here and collect that, duh. Again, with the, the dumb stuff that I keep doing, and position you over here. Uh, extra Omni license. You would think I'd just get infinite of those, like... Come on. <laughs> Sorry, you can only build four. You know, laws and all that. Now really the time to be obeying laws. We're in quite literally an illegal area. I, I don't think we. I, no one. Can, who's gonna prosecute us here? That's the uh. question. I don't think anyone could prosecute us here. Let's go ahead and get rid of all that stuff. Emitter destroyed. 
My missiles are now very confused. Uh, let's get a lathe down here-ish. Not gonna have all that much ammo, but hopefully they'll finish before anything bad happens. Um, yeah, I can't actually sneak in this guy down here, I think. Yeah, there he goes. Let's make sure the destroyer's down here, too. I, want, I wanted to get this thing destroyed. That's gonna... Yeah, maybe not. I think they're just going all into the engines, which is a mistake on their part, because they're flying directly into engines. I would not recommend flying into engines. It will, uh, you know, burn you a bit. Okay, how's it going over here? Fine, it's going fine over here. You guys might as well just, like... Can they fly over land? I actually haven't noticed. Just go ahead and hold up here. Okay, that's destroyed, so we can move you up to here and you up to here. You have to actually get pretty close. I think you'll be fine, though. Better destroyed. Yeah, we're just gonna keep laying into that. It's not gonna do too much, though. They have too many right now. Yeah, just, <laughs> just slowly shoot the goop on the floor. Uh, I can build more of them. I am going to build another one right here just to help get rid of this goop. We probably will sneak around with my uh, my good ships over here. You should. Uh, well, I, I assume I can't build this yet because there's goop on the floor. Uh, you do need to be in this circle. I don't want to get anything done, though. We need to get around and destroy this thing. That'll, that'll greatly help with our predicament up here. We can't we can't move up until we've secured this island if because we don't have any power generation up here. This guy he, he's making the goop. <laughs> I never got built. Whoops. He was doing nothing this whole time. I don't know if I need to have goop there always. I don't know if um, I don't know if I can take this guy away and like since it's already covered in goop, that's fine. Or if he has me sitting on top of it to power the goop. I don't know. These guys are still just going at it over here. I see more or less in a stalemate. We're killing them almost as fast as they're popping up. Which is fine. I'm kind of terrified of that happening. We've almost successfully <laughs> gotten here. And we're just kind of butted up against this very slowly picking away at the goop. But the second that guy can start building that, he, he will. I guess I could just do this. Hooray for speed! Yay! We now have energy. We can we can uh, we now move up and start murdering. They will fly over the land. They just won't stay on top of it. You might as well move up and just destroy this emitter. That'll make things easier. If it, if they're stuck going this way, I'll be fine. Um, we're gonna have to figure out a way to deal with that. I don't know, we could maybe kill them with just this ship. I don't know if we need to bring in. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and just bring it back up. Hey, could you? Can I like? I want to know if I can uh, like queue up movements because I don't want him to. I, it's fine now, but like here, 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 here. So he, he flies around the stuff instead of directly into the middle of it. Maybe not though. But um, three ships over here should be enough. How many could they have? Like, six goop over here? I guess technically I can have him defense laser this stuff, maybe. Oh, he's gonna get the data node as well. That'll be pretty helpful. What beeped? What beeped at me? Who beeped? Did this guy get hit by one damage? I think that guy hit by one, one damage. Um, very well preserved, but strangely, it's nearly empty. This someone took a fresh cache, wrote a few records on it, and then jettisoned it. Bah ha 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 ha! May the gods have mercy on us. 
No, no, why bother? Um, itchy for tasty for nothing will happen again and again and again and again and again and again several thousand times and it ends. The dialogue of crazy CEO. Jewish from prolonged isolation is perhaps insane that came from knowing his destruction was imminent. Uh, the insane aren't always blinded by delusions. Sometimes they just see too much reality. Uh, thank you for that, I guess. Maybe, maybe he's laughing because this just keeps happening over and over again. There's just so much goo all over the place in space. I can't get anything done. There's just too much goo. Oh, there's a particle thing up there. I didn't even notice there was one up there. So I'm going to take care of that one then. Let's fly the boys up. Move him right about there. No need to be any closer than that. Surprised that, oh, that got like no goo on it. Weird. This guy has more or less lost his, uh, his shielding. I just don't want to get too close that I aggro them. Just, I just want to, just want to bully them as long as I can. Okay, that thing's gone. Come over here to the edge of space. It's not close enough to bully. You can bully from down here. So you, you actually have to be over here to get any bullying done. You can bully down here over there. Over here, whatever. Then I'm going to have you hide over here. They're down to 650. Let's go ahead and just speed this up. See if they uh, start going down any lower. Yeah, yeah, they're it, we're tearing into them. It takes a little time. Yeah, but beat this level in uh, 52 seconds. That's about right. This guy needs to be moved over here now, and you probably need to be moved over here. Maybe a bit too close. Ah, uh, uh, no, they're fine. They're fine. Now, will this guy be too close? Oh yes, he will. Oh, it's fine. He's still got he's still got some bits on him. He only needs so many bits. He doesn't need all of them. See, look, he's fine. They just put all the bits back. There we go. A successful conquering of insanity. Face unforeseen threats and overcome them. Also collected valuable information and should lead us forward in our search for the truth. Hooray, victory! Oh. <laughs> well, that guy beat it in 137.2, but this guy in 137.3. The absolute madman in this game.